Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game, and welcome back to Re Alistair, where we're going to be playing through Derek's Fruit. Yay? Question <laughs> mark. I'm um interested to see if he'll change my opinion of him at all. I will just skip through this beginning part where Alistair takes our blessed stone, because that's always annoying, and Fiona and Ruby are properly horrified. And I'll read through this again, just because this will be my last time with the characters, so... hey, why not? I stare at the screen in shock for a few moments, trying hard not to let out a scream. Finally, I slam my hands down on the table. The keyboard in front of me shakes, and the student using the computer next to me stares at me in surprise. What? I glare at him, and he quickly looks away. Thought so. The computer lab is surprisingly empty right now. I glance at the clock on the wall. Lunch will be over in ten minutes. Figures, I always lose track of time when I'm playing Rivenwell online. Still darn the school's spotty internet connection. I'll bet that I automatically forfeited that duel. That Alistair jerk must think I'm some sort of coward. I refresh the screen, but the blinking message on my monitor informs me there's still no internet connection. Oh, what if it's not a clean disconnect? Alistair could be hacking away at poor defenseless Rui. I bet he would, too. I have to get back online right now, but it's not like refreshing my screen over and over is going to make things magically work. I need an expert. I scan the computer lab, looking for someone who might know what they're doing. Aha! At the far end of the lab, leaning back in a dark corner, a guy is typing away furiously on his machine. I think I've seen him before. He's in here a lot, especially when the computer games club has meetings. I quickly approach him and flash my most charming smile. Hello. He doesn't respond. Um, hello. I heard you the first time. Then why didn't you answer me? I did. I nodded. No, you didn't. No, you just weren't paying attention. Is this conversation going anywhere? Ah, oh, this guy is so rude. No wonder he spends so much time with computers. I bet he doesn't even have a girlfriend. Um, yeah, you're in the computer games club, right? He raises an eyebrow as if I just asked a painfully stupid question. I'm the president of the computer gaming club, Travis. Or haven't you noticed? Uh, oh, I didn't know. I'm surprised. You're always here in the lab, playing your silly little online game while we're meeting. But I suppose you never bothered to pay any attention to us, though. Otherwise, you would have known. R right Sure. How on earth do the other members put up with this guy? <laughs> so, you know how to fix computers, right? His eye twitches. Only slightly, but it's obvious that he's annoyed. Maybe. Well, the internet is down. <sighs> Try <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> and my voice broke. <clears throat> Let me have some tea. Travis. Okay. Let's try that again. Travis rubs the sides of his head slowly before he turns to face me. Oh, that's better. Listen, uh... Marui. Yeah, Marui. He shakes his head as if he re doesn't really care. <sighs> Fixing computers does not work the way you think it does. He measures each word out slowly and carefully as if he's speaking to a small child. Ugh, what should I do? Play on his pride? I'm sorry, I just thought that since you knew a lot about computers, you'd be able to fix it. But I guess I overestimated you. <laughs> Travis's eye twitches again. It's fine. A lot of people make that mistake. His voice is laced with bitterness. I think I really hit a sweet spot. But seeing as you hold so much faith in me, I'll see what I can do about the internet connection if you can solve a quick puzzle for me. A puzzle? Yeah. Imagine you're in one of your silly online games and there are two classes, knights and demons. Knights and demons are exactly the same in all ways but one. Knights always tell the truth, and demons always lie. So? You run into two of these guys, and you know that one must be a knight, and one must be a demon. 
How? <sighs> he rolls his eyes. You just do. Anyway, you're only allowed to ask one yes or no question. How do you figure out which is the knight and which is the demon? Um, you ask one of them if he's a knight? Wrong. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to get to class. I suggest you do the same. Wait, is there even a right answer? Hmm, I wonder. He grabs a messenger's bag from the ground, slings it over his shoulder, and walks off. Before I have any time to think about his puzzle any longer, the warning bell rings. I grab my books and dash off to class. <clears throat> I slide into the only empty seat left in the class just as the bell rings. Whew, safe. The teacher begins her lecture and I summarily ignore her, contenting myself with doodling a series of flowers on my handout. On my handout. <laughs> there we go. Since we've just concluded our section on ancient civilizations, we'll be doing a term project on it. You will be split up into teams of two. Whoever is sitting at the table with you will be your partner. I glance at the person sitting next to me. He's huddled up in the corner, staring mindlessly out the window. Is he sleeping? You and your partner will submit an eight-page report and give a five-minute presentation on the topic of your choosing. I will give you the rest of the class to discuss an appropriate topic with your partner. Great. A project with some sleeping kid. He'd better not make me do all the work. And this is very ironic because, as much as it kills me, I cannot work on my project at all if I'm doing Derek's route. I'm so sorry, Shiro. I turn to face him. He appears to be awake, but he's completely spaced out. Uh, hey. I wave my hand, trying to get his attention. I'm Meroe. We're supposed to be working together? Yeah. So, what's your name? Shiro. Cool. Nice to meet you. He's still not looking at me. In fact, he's staring so hard at the window, I'm starting to wonder if the meaning of life is written on it or something. <laughs> Are you okay? His face flushes a bright red. I'm fine. You don't look okay. Are you sick? N no, I just... He glances to the side and shifts uncomfortably. We should pick a topic. Is there anything you like? Uh, I don't know. Is there anything you want to talk about? Not really. Hey, another uncooperative guy. Just my luck running to three jerks in a row. At least Shiro isn't mocking me. It's obvious that Travis was just making fun of me with that stupid riddle of his. No matter what I ask, those dumb demons will always lie, so how on earth can I tell which is which? It's impossible. What? what Shiro looks at me, a bit startled by my sudden declaration. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking. About what? Knights and demons. Demons? Well, not demons exactly. Liars. Knights always tell the truth and demons always lie. Oh, you're supposed to ask. Would the person with you claim to be a knight? Shiro's face suddenly brightens. Aww. Huh? It's a riddle, right? One always tells the truth, and the other always lies. Yeah? So you have to ask, would the person with you claim to be a knight? If you ask directly, both the truth teller and the liar would claim to be a knight, so you have to ask about the other one. If the knight answers, he will tell you truthfully that the demon with him will claim to be a knight. If the demon answers, he will lie and say that the person with him won't claim to be a knight. And then you can tell the difference. Shiro smiles proudly as he explains the riddle to me. Hmm, I think I get it. It's a little complicated, but it makes sense, I think. Still, you're pretty smart to figure that out. Huh? N no I've just heard it before. I really like puzzles, you see. It's a really well-known riddle. I see. Shiro, Marui, I trust that if you're getting chatty like this, you've already chosen a topic. From across the room, the teacher eyes us carefully. Oh, sorry. I turn back to Shiro. We should pick a topic, huh? Yeah. He's back to his recluse self again. <laughs> we really need to talk about this project, but he seems like he doesn't want to talk. So I'll have some tea in the middle of this awkward silence.
<clears throat> oh boy, drank too much tea. <coughs> and that's the end of my tea. Okay. I'm going to suggest a topic this time. Uh, all right. <clears throat> uh, why don't we do our report on Greece? I thought studying that was kind of fun. Kind of. Uh, Greece is a really wide topic. <clears throat> Pardon me. We should probably narrow it down. Okay, what about Athens? That's an important Greek city, and it's a focus enough topic for us, right? That sounds good. I scribble down Athens in bold letters in my notebook. At least we have a topic now, even though we're not going to do any work on it. Bell rings, and we quickly gather up our books. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tea. Such tea. Um. <laughs> What's up, Shiro? <laughs> Cheryl hands me a folded sheet of notebook paper. What's this? It's my email address. We should stay in touch. Oh, good idea. I tear the sheet in half, scribble my email address down, and hand it to him. Here you go. He nods and smiles a bit before walking off, clutching his books to his chest. <laughs> as soon as he leaves, I tear off down the hallway towards the computer lab. As I turn the corner, I nearly collide with another student, but I quickly skid to a halt and wind my way around him. Sorry! This month, the school is offering an after-school work program for students who want to make extra money. It's only menial tasks like mailing envelopes or calling people to ask for donations, but I could always use the spare cash. Even though I get allowance on the weekend, more money couldn't hurt. However, the work program doesn't start for another 30 minutes, so now is the perfect time to check on how Rui is doing. I wait impatiently outside the computer lab as students file out. Finally, I rush in and grab the nearest computer. I wonder if the internet is working again. Worried about your game? Travis is standing in the doorway smirking at me. Pfft. Why do you care? I don't. You just look terribly anxious. I was wondering if it had something to do with that game of yours. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't feel like telling you. And by the way, I figured out the answer to that riddle of yours. No doubt. It's a fairly common one, after all. I was a bit disappointed that you hadn't heard it already. But I'm no deal ba <laughs> deal baker. I'm no deal breaker. The internet works now, so you can have fun. Did you fix it? No, I just waited and it came back on its own. What did you think I could actually do about it? So you didn't hold up your end of the bargain. And neither did you, I assume. Or are you telling me that someone else didn't tell you the answer to my riddle? Well... I thought so. See you around. <sighs> what a conceited jerk. I hope he gets his someday. Someday. But he's really a sweetheart underneath. Current promotion. Trade in 50 fluff -a -bit paws for a piece of lucky armor. Ruby, the sword is logged on. Boop. Game announcement. The PvP match you participated in with player Alistair has been cancelled due to inactivity from both parties. Rui, are you okay? What happened? Hey, Fiona. My internet connection dropped. I just got back on. I was so worried about you. Sorry. So, if your connection dropped, does that mean you automatically forfeited to Alistair? Um, it doesn't look like it. Apparently, he didn't do anything. Maybe he didn't want such an easy win. I don't think so. If he was willing to steal our kill, he'd definitely accept an auto-forfeit. Oh, then maybe he logged off? Maybe. It seems weird that we'd both drop at the same time. Maybe he just got lucky. Hmm. What's wrong? Just thinking. Eh? Huh? <laughs> what if his connection dropped at the same time because we're both on the same network? I don't understand. I lost my connection because my internet died. What if Alistair was using the same internet connection as me? Um, I guess that's a possibility. Where are you? At school. The school's net went down for a while, so he would have been logged off like me. Wait, you think Alistair goes to the same school as you? Yeah, it all makes sense. People can lose internet connections for all sorts of reasons. What if his mom told him it was time to go to bed or something? No, it's too much of a coincidence. It has to be someone at the school. 
if you say so. But I think that's a stretch. No, it's perfect. That means I'll be able to exact my revenge in real life. Um, how do you plan to do that? What? If you do manage to find him, what exactly are you going to do? It's not as if you can just challenge him to a duel in real life. Uh, well, I guess I'll figure that out later. But the important part is... Revenge. Are you sure about that? That guy deserves to pay for what he did. It's only an item in a game, though. It's not about the item, it's about being courteous online. I think that's a lot to ask for people on the internet. <laughs> well, just because it's the internet doesn't mean we should give up standards of decency. I guess so. But you really shouldn't jump to conclusions, okay? You might do something brash. When have I ever done anything brash? Come on. N never mind. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to make sure Rui wasn't dead. I've got to get going now. Un, I'll see you. I just realized that Fiona and Shiro also say un a lot. That should have been another giveaway for me. Oh well, wasn't paying attention for that. Later, Fiona slash Shiro. Boop. I log off Rivenwell Online and quickly bring up my school's network list. In the name of trust and honesty, the school keeps close tabs on all of the students' computer usage. I don't know how much trust it shows, but it's really handy for seeing who's on the network and when. Looking at this afternoon's logs, only four students were logged on when the internet dropped. Naturally, I'm one of them. Shiro was on too. Huh, he doesn't seem like a gamer though. He was probably just checking his email. Some guy named Derek Naveen. His name sounds familiar, but where have I heard it before? And... Travis. Uh, of course he was online. He was even sitting right behind me. I wouldn't be too surprised if he was Alistair. They both have rotten personalities. But Travis didn't seem too interested in Rivenwell Online. In fact, he said that it was a silly game. Maybe he doesn't play it after all. I guess it leaves Derek. I click on his student profile. Apparently he's on the student council. I guess that's where I've heard his name before. He's on the basketball team as well. They're practicing right now, so he's probably there. I hurry down the hallway and stop outside the school gym. I can hear shouts and the echoing boom of a basketball. Slowly I crack the door open and peer in. The basketball players are rushing back and forth across the court. The current center of attention seems to be a guy with blonde hair and bright highlights. He races across the court, expertly dribbling the ball as he weaves back and forth. I remember seeing posters of him all over the school during elections. Whoops. Ah, <sighs> there we go. I guess he's Derek, then. He looks like he really knows what he's doing. Another player leaps in front of him, holding his arms out to block him. Derek pauses for a moment, then grins playfully at him and fakes left before making a dash to the right. He skits to a halt in front of the basket as another player moves in to block him. Derek! Over here! One of his teammates waves his arms to indicate that he's open, but Derek shakes his head and weaves around the player, blocking him. To the cheers of his teammates, he leaps into the air and dunks the ball into the net. That's enough showing off, Naveen! Take a water break! A couple guys surround Derek, clapping him on the back and laughing. One of them leans towards him and points in my direction. Oops. I slam the door shut, but not fast enough. In a few seconds, the door opens and Derek steps out into the hallway. Hey, cutie. Did you want something? C cutie? Uh... Mm. Oh, was that too forward? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a forward kind of guy. It gets me in a lot of trouble sometimes. Especially with cute girls. Um... Something wrong? Don't be shy. I'm really a nice guy, you know. You can come in and watch us practice if you want. Uh, it's not that. Oh, so you do speak. That's great. So what's your name? Marui. Sweet, I like girls with unique names. He nods back at the gym door. I'd love to stay and chat, but Coach probably wants me back in a few. Was there something you wanted? I just had a few questions. Nothing important. Hey, I'm Vice President. 
Anything from a member of the student body is important. It's not exactly about the school, though. Oh? That's even more interesting. Why don't we talk about it at the mall? We could call it a date if you want. Is this guy actually asking me out on a date? He hardly even knows me. I guess he is kind of cute, though. Uh, no. Focus? What if he's Alistair? I'd never be able to forgive myself if I went on a date with him. Agreed. We should just go for a friendly chit-chat. I wouldn't mind meeting you at the mall, but I don't think we're really on dating terms yet. <laughs> I understand. Then just as friends, right? Yeah, just as friends. Cool, we'll work out the details later. Your email address is in the student directory, right? Um, yeah. Then we'll be in touch. He winks at me before heading back into the gym. Catch you later, Marui. Oi, I didn't get to ask him what I wanted. Oh well. At least we'll be able to talk later. For now, I should probably get to work. I spend the next hour folding and sealing envelopes in the school's office. Not exactly the most glamorous job in the world, but money is money, and I can't complain about that. After the office closes, I head home. As soon as I get home, I turn my computer on and check my email. Okay... Hey, Riven Wellers, it's a new month, and you all know what that means. New rare items. Look cool and gain extra ice damage with the new Winterfrost Blade for Knights. Demons will find the Horned Helm to be a fine addition to their arsenal. The Glorious Halo will give extra healing power to angels. Guardians should pick up some volcanic armor for extra fire defense. These items will only be available for a month, so buy a point card and get yours now. Our project. Marui, there isn't much about Athens on the internet, so I bought a couple books that I think would be useful. If you find any more, you should get them. It would also be a good idea if we could meet up sometime to discuss our project. You should come over to my place sometime so we can talk about it more. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shiro, but I can't do it. I search for information about Athens online, but there really isn't much. Some history, some mythology, and a bit of info on the culture, but nothing very deep. Shiro was right. I'll actually have to get some books or something, huh? Nope. I copy and paste a few interesting facts, but my attention wanders pretty quickly. I'm still thinking about what happened today. Fine, if I can't concentrate on this, I might as well just log on. Maybe hacking away at monsters will help calm me down. Hi, Rui! Hey, Fiona. How's it going? I'm doing well. Taking a break. And you? <laughs> I'm procrastinating on my homework. Don't tell Fiona that. Are, are you sure that's a good idea? I'll be fine. Besides, I need to blow some steam. Want to be in a party with me for a while? Sure. Badoop. Where should we go? Well, I think there's a promotion going on in the Morose Mountains right now. Then let's get going. Oh no. Well, well, if it isn't the lovely Rui. Come for the promotion, I assume. Ugh, what are you doing here? Killing adorable bunny-like creatures until the game awards me with a new costume. What does it look like? You know what I meant. Not really. Rui, let's just go. <laughs> the mountains are big enough for us to stay far away from this guy. You should listen to your friend. She's clearly more forward-thinking than you are. Are you calling me stupid? Hmm, what do you think? Well, for your information, I'm not as stupid as I look. Rui? In fact, I already know who you are in real life. What? Ha! Huh, are you scared now? And you can be sure that when I see you at school tomorrow, you'll get yours. At school? Uh... <laughs> I see. The internet crashed during lunch, huh? So you must be Marui. Oh, come on. Rui of the sword. Marui. It's pretty obvious. And since we only met today, your name is still fresh in my mind. But that's only fair, right? Since you know who I am, after all. Of course I do. 
No, you don't. If you did, you would have done something by now. You still haven't figured out exactly who I am, have you? I will. Hmm, sounds like this might be fun. What? Let's make a deal. If you can figure out who I am, sometime in the next month, I'll give you my Blessed Stone. You mean my Blessed Stone? Whatever suits your fancy. But if you can't figure it out, then you'll fork over all the gold that you make for the next month. Ha! Huh. As if I accept your deal. Rui, don't! Ah, such confidence. At least you have that much going for you. Oh, but it's getting so late, don't you think? I'll see you tomorrow, Rui. Boop. Rui, why did you do that? Oh, that guy seriously ticks me off. And I'm not going to let him just get away with being a jerk online. But what if you lose? Don't worry, I won't. At the most, I know there were only three other people online. I just have to figure out which one of them plays Rivenwell online. <sighs> Rui, you really do leap into things without thinking, you know. <laughs> That's why I have you to back me up. I can always count on you to bail me out of a bad situation. I wish you'd be a little more careful on your own, though. I won't always be around to save you. Hey, that's enough of this glum talk. Let's kill some bunnies. Y yeah. <laughs> Fiona and I play for a few hours before exchanging farewells and logging off. As I get ready for bed, I think back on today's events. Only Travis, Shiro, and Derek were online, so it must be one of them. Travis seems to hate Rivenwell online. He acts like it's beneath him because he's a serious gamer. But he might just be trying to save face in front of other serious gamers. He has his position as club president, after all. Shiro doesn't seem like a gamer at all. Besides, he's so shy, I doubt he and Alistair are the same person. Then again, some of the nicest people turn into rotten jerks online. Playing online might be his way of blowing off steam or something. As for Derek, I really don't know anything about him yet besides the fact that he's school vice president. What does the vice president even do, anyway? Well, it doesn't really matter in the end. I'll figure out which one it is tomorrow anyway. And here's our stats for now. Next time, we'll get into the actual gameplay. Till then, see you later.